Right, welcome back. Uh, we are looking at function machines, um, which half of this is relatively comfortable, uh, and the other half of it is a little bit needs a little bit more work to it. Okay, so function machine basically, you start with a number, you do a couple of things to it, okay, and you end up with an answer. That's your output. Okay, input number that goes in, output number that comes out. So if I start with an input of five, okay. I'm going to follow this as I'm going along. So I do 5 times 10. Okay, so I'm at 50 there. Okay, and then I'm going to add 3. So I'm going to do 50 plus 3, which is 53. Okay, which would be my output. Okay, so when we're going across like that, okay, it's relatively comfortable for everyone. Okay, the more challenging part is when we start working backwards. So we're given the output, okay? We have to then find the input. So which means we have to start from the right and go to the left. So if I start off with my output being, uh, let's go with 23, okay? So if I ended up, if I added something to it and got 23, that means I'm gonna have to take away. So I'm actually, I'm working backwards. So I'm gonna do 23, take away three which would obviously equal 20. So that gets us to that part there. Again, though, I've got to do things in reverse. Okay, so I'm doing the opposite, the inverse of what, I'm, what it says there. So I'm then going to do 20 divided by 10, okay, which equals 2. So if you're going from left to right, if you're given the input, you need the output, you follow it as it says there. If you're given the output, you're going to do everything in the opposite uh, direction, but you're also going to do it the inverse. So you can do the opposite of what each sign is doing. Okay, so have a go at those questions. If you need to watch the video again, by all means do. Okay, and see what you come up with. Okay.